some better product than others. And there is something on artificial intelligence. In Dresden, we recently opened up a center for explainable and efficient AI technologies in order to understand how can we optimize these whole softwareized networks. Because you have to do it in a distributed way, therefore blockchain, but you also need uh, machine learning in order to optimize it from millisecond to millisecond. And on the right, this is some research terms we are using. This breaks the, um, the domain, what I said before. You cannot have it all. You have to die one death, where you say delay, latency, and resilience. You can only optimize nowadays for one, losing the other two. And there are two aspects that can crack it. One is information theory, that is um, compressed sensing and network coding. And the other one is the network slicing, which is not actually trying to split this up, but just offering virtual networks within the real network. Because nowadays, we only build one physical network with one characteristic. The network slicing allows us then to have different networks with different type of um, characteristics. So if you come back to the tactile internet, the good news now is that these electrons that you saw before, they are now in use, heavily in use, to make this dream possible. First of all, as I said, the network slicing, we will have three slices. One slice for the video part, which means low delay, uh, high delay, but high data rate, because video stream is big. And then for the tactile, we need low latency, but it's also low data rate. Audio is a little bit different. High quality audio has um, mediocre requirements for the latency and for the bandwidth. So therefore, you see here network slicing realized by the softwareization SDN, NFV, and ICN. The Mobile Edge Cloud is, as I said also before, the perfect place to hold the digital twin of machines and humans. And when they are moving, also the Mobile Edge Cloud has to move. Here, the challenge is not to build the Mobile Edge Cloud. I think there are a lot of solutions that you can see now. The question is how to build a resilient, a robust Mobile Edge Cloud. Because of this state, you cannot treat it like storage, and you have to find out what to do there. Machine learning will be part not only in the network, it will be also in our body area networks, understanding and um, uh, what we are doing with all this information coming from the sensors. Of course, also, we need a new air interface because of the low latency. But now you see we can maybe use 5G technology to build the idea of tactile internet with humans in the loop. And in order to show that uh, at TU Dresden, together with Deutsche Telekom and also Ericsson, we have um, so-called 5G campus networks in these containers. We are currently building them. We are going to challenge um, areas which are normally don't have nice mobile communication coverage, and we just bring the 5G um, network over there. And what we are doing then is showcase some of our ideas. For example, bringing a robot in a bakery. Bakery, why is this important? Because um, the, uh, the baker man said that he does not find people that stand up at 3 o'clock in the morning doing simple jobs like putting stuff um, simply in the oven. So what we, what we did is we gave him a jacket. We showcased um, it two or three times until the robot understand what to do. And we, we create these new types of business cases where 5G is a must. And we bring in the tactile internet where this might be also something very new where we um, see also use cases that have not been discussed yet. And I strongly believe that 5G will be the enabler for the cases of machines working together with human beings. With, with this, I would like to end up the talk. Thank you very much. And all, I also would like to thank Deutsche Telekom for the support in the four, last four years. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Frank, for this uh, inspiring talk. Now, you've just uh, mentioned all the 5G essentials that will make tactile internet possible. Um, what's still missing? Um, I, I try to um, list them a little bit. It's the communication part. We, there are some stuff that we still have to do, but we're on the very good way because all the ingredients are there. But there's a lot of things, as I said, the electronics are missing. Even the latency, um, if, <coughs> if you transport it um, over the internet, um, the latency is not the issue. The camera in the display suddenly is too slow. So all the things that we developed so far are not optimized for latency. And thanks to the gamers, 
They were the only one over the last 20 years always asking for latency. And latency is an issue because if you're missing bandwidth in your network, you just put dollars on the table and you can increase the capacity. But once you have defined a latency, you cannot um, make it better over the time. So it's now the time with release 16, 17 to make sure that we get the best and lowest possible latency in our communication networks. All right, so it's all about low latency to make that possible. Uh, dear guests, if you have any questions or suggestions or comments, just lift up your hand and we will get a mic to you with the help of uh, our great helpers. Thank you so far, it's been a tough day, but they're still standing. So just lift up your hand, don't be shy, and let us know. So where would you see use cases? Or how can I, as a customer, experience tactile internet? Um, uh, there are many ways, uh, as I said, in the learning phase, um, also in the working environment, or later in the medical care. We do a lot of uh, medical care. Where you will see it the first, I think the consumer in the gaming part, it will come. You see a lot of people that try to mimic hapt uh, haptic feedback by strange machines. It's way easier to really include this into your closing. And um, as I said, the gamers were of great help when it comes to latency. So my best hope is on the um, consumer area where we see it first. Well, we're hoping with you and we'll definitely keep an eye on you. Thank and you very see much. what you will be telling us in the future. So thank you very much. If, all, if you're all happy and satisfied, definitely we will be satisfied. And Frank will also be available for one-to-one -one talks in case anybody is shy. So I wish you nice and inspirational talks thank with Frank much. here. Thank you, and thank you for listening and your interest, and have a very nice day with Deutsche Telekom. Thank you very much.